it's someplace new. Jack, look out! Nightmare Before Christmas. Hello. Dirty Dancing. Lucky Frank. Lucky. Luck. Luck. Look. MTV Liquid Television. These are just some of the many projects by Sasha Lee, an art director and model maker. Um, I worked on lots of movies, lots of television shows, uh, lots of advertising, promotion, commercials. She is also an accomplished artist showcased in the Santa Cruz Museum of Modern Arts, the McMaster Museum, and the Art Gallery of Peterborough. Her life seemed to be very smooth and successful. But all that changed dramatically when her daughter, Zoe, became sick. My daughter was about 10 years old. Uh, we discovered that she had a cyst growing in her ovary. And, you know, I was very, very shocked when I first, you know, found out. So we went through all the testing and we, she had the surgery. And uh, the following year, she had another one at the same location. And then the following year, it came back. Sasha gave up her professional career to become a caregiver. After a few years of trying different Western medical treatments, Zoe was still sick and Sasha frustrated. She considered Eastern Feng Shui. Her husband Todd was very supportive. Well, at the time, uh, Western medicine is not helping. Uh, why not be open to alternative you know, ideas, especially if those ideas are 5,000, 6,000 years old, nothing to lose, right? And it doesn't cost anything. Yeah. You know, all you do is you're aligning yourself with your environment. So what, what's there to lose? And they were right. In time, Zoe made a full recovery. <music> Having Zoe cured from her illness was a true blessing. But when Sasha decided to become a full-time feng shui consultant, her husband was a bit skeptical about her business decision. I had a very Americanized idea, and so like a lot of American things, you know, you want an instant, um, instant fix, uh, instant satisfaction, kind of quick fix. Zoe saw feng shui was something fake, like a Hollywood movie. I thought that was totally embarrassing that she would go into that field. <laughs> Fortunately, her embarrassment didn't last long. But she was totally not going into that field. She was digging deep into Asian history to look at one of the oldest uh, traditions and you know studies that I've ever learned about. Basically, um, yeah, I thought it was. I think it's pretty cool now. It has been 13 years since Sasha made her career change. Today, she consulted with people and business globally. Um, I have clients all over the world. Um, like, like where? All over America, China, Korea, uh, Canada. Currently right now I'm working with Restoration Hardware and I have completed uh, several bank designs for HSBC Bank. And right now I have several new jobs coming up uh, working with large corporations. She is one of the top 10 most influential feng shui experts on Twitter. More importantly, her clients appreciate her knowledge and okay, skill. Yeah. Dr. Harmony has been consulting with Sasha for over three years. I feel a very strong connection to her, um, and she's always guided me in, in the right place, and she's extremely positive. I really love the feel. Oh, good. Yeah, fantastic. me too. It's fantastic. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Here, right? Great. When I moved to San Francisco, get someone to come in and do feng shui on my apartment and on me. Um, and that's how I ended up meeting Sasha. I truly believe that feng shui can help people get a better life. I think that if they believe in it. Let's now look to see what angle we're getting in your room. Okay. Okay. I think that you have to believe in it to want it. And so if you believe in it, I feel that it can definitely help you. Well, personally for me, I think that um, learning feng shui and practicing feng shui has really helped my family a great deal and myself to understand myself and how to create a harmonious home for myself and my family. And also, it's a fantastic career, so I'm really, really pleased that I continued with it. Leaves that fall free from pavement. Feng shui is a key to happiness. 
and it could help anybody. And oh. everybody should know a little bit of feng shui. The coast of four.